Yo, yo, yo guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, in today's video, we are photographing at this beautiful Hot Wells Ruins. Yeah, it's a resort for the wealthy and rich. In beautiful San Antonio, Texas. I lived here previously for 21 years of my life and I never knew this place existed. But to be fair, it does look new. The, the grounds look like they were just recently paved and stuff. So maybe this is new. I'm gonna be giving you five tips on how to post somebody who's not a model. So just really simple things that you can do to create some really bomb poses. So when you're posing somebody, tip number one is you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your subject is standing up nice and tall. So go ahead and stand up nice and tall. And, and then she's gonna also engage. You're gonna have your subject engage their core as well. Even if the pose doesn't call for it, it's gonna just create a more powerful image as opposed to having things relaxed and loose. Um, it's just gonna tighten up certain areas that you, hey, that you wouldn't think to tighten up. Can you take off your shoes? Wow. Wow. All right. One, two, and three. So looking towards where that camera is, mm -hmm. um, you can push, push, yeah, one out. Yeah, yeah like that. No, you, like, yeah, like that. Okay. And then you can bring your leg, yeah, like that. Cool. You ready? One, two, and, oh, I like that. One, two, and three. All right, we are moving on to a new location. You know, why even do your hair if it's gonna be windy as heck, truly. All right, so we're looking for some locations. I think you can, I think we can go in it. Um, but we also need to get in some shade. I put some sunscreen on my tattoo, but I don't think it's good enough. Ooh, this will be a good spot right here. This little sun flare. I like this, this is gonna make for a good photo. Tip number two, um, keeping the first tip in mind where she's gonna be standing up tall and straight, she's gonna have her core engaged. Um, the next tip after she's doing that, that's going to create some tension elsewhere. Mostly it's nine out of 10 times it'll be in the shoulders. So what you're gonna, going to want to do is bring those shoulders down, relax them um, because everything else is engaged and your core is engaged and it's tight. Um, just make sure you have the person you're photographing relax their shoulders. Make sure you're dropping your shoulders down. Okay, so stand up tall, tall, shoulders down. Ready? Actually, no, let's change your pose. Look, so I'm gonna be right here and cause I don't want you to be like this. I want you to, to turn your body around. You're facing forward by the way. Yeah, uh, but pop out that leg, yeah. Yeah, perfect. Let's do it again, the pose. Perfect. One, two, and three. Hold on, I got too much of the sun in there. I need to get it like here. Like right uh, here. Okay, right there, yeah, yeah, do it. One, two, and three. All right, we are moving on to a different spot. The Venus checked out of this photo shoot already. Same. This is pretty. I'm flowers on the other side. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, so people were just in it illegally. What? People were in it illegally. What do you mean? Because you're not supposed to go in. The people were inside of it. Because it's like a historic landmark. Oh. 
All right guys, so this is gonna be our next location. Um, so what I was thinking for this, um, because I don't really care to get this stuff in it, um, I liked that this was open um, and this, I'm thinking that I can frame her if she's down here and I and I shoot up at her. Um, I can get, she's not gonna be sitting down there, but um, I can get that kind of, it'll be a blue sky behind her. All right, so my next tip for y'all, tip number three, again, uh, going through the tips real quick. Tip number one, stand up straight and tall, uh, core engaged. The second tip is gonna be relax the shoulders. So just as your core is engaged and you're staying up tall, just remember to relax the shoulders. The third tip is to keep the limbs away from the body. So just create space, um, allow your limbs to breathe a little bit. Um, let some wind pass through there. Um, so go ahead and put your limbs by your side. So as you can see right here, um, it's just gonna flatten her arm, but if she pulls it away, See how it thinned it out. See how it thinned it out. PD standards. Yeah, um, it's just going to make for a really flattering, uh, more flattering image, and plus it'll it'll make the image more interesting by creating interesting angles and spaces with your limbs. Okay, ready? One, two, and three. Actually, you're a little too close. Let's back you up just a little bit. Bring your elbow in. One, two and three. All right, all right guys, we're moving on to a different location. Ooh, there's some nice steps right here. Look at that. Is that nice? Yeah, those are good. Is that door open? Oh, it's a luxury getaway for the rich and famous. <sighs> this is right where we belong, huh? I like those palm trees though, for real. Those palm trees are nice. Jeez. Very what if I California. We could probably do that. We're gonna try to get these palm trees because the sun's nice and I think that I can pivot, I can position Davina so that way she blocks these trash cans. You know what I was gonna do right here so I can get the trees to like frame you. Um, so we'll, that's too close to the trash can. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I just, I don't want you to have to be in shade completely, but that's gonna happen. So I'll put you right here. Oh yeah, that was good, do that. No, you looked over there, that was nice. All right, let's move. We on the move again. We're over there. No, it's too in the shade. All right, so we found this wall and we really like it. It's nice, it's nicely tiled. So we're gonna use this as a background or part of the background. And then the other part of the background is gonna be this. So it's gonna look good. The type of lens that I have on my camera right now, it's gonna blur, out, blur that out really well. So um, we'll see what happens. My fourth tip is to make that beautiful S curve. Um, so Davina, is, she definitely knows what to do here. Um, so go ahead and get into the S curve. <laughs> Perfect. All right, so as you can see, she's creating a little S right there. S, yes. <laughs> S, yes. Bring your arm out. Oh wait, yeah. You, you can actually bring it up. Yeah, like that. Your fingers look weird up there. Yeah, hold it, yeah. One, two. Um, yeah, that's good. Hold on, keep that, but push your booty to the wall. One, two, and three. Don't push, you, you, you have like one finger up, you're like, hello. Smize it, girl. Let's have you, um, let me see. Create the S curve, um, but, and then I kind of want you to bring that leg, hold on, that's gonna be weird. Yeah. Bring the leg around here like this and bring it up. Yeah, I know, but um, actually don't stand on this side, just stand like this. So you're leaning, your back is against it. Wait, uh, let's do something with your hands though. Uh, with this one, put it on the wall like that? Yeah, so touch your head more. Uh, yeah, that way? Yeah, perfect. 
One, two, and... That was good, the wind was blowing perfectly too. Okay, so we are moving to another location. Oh, hello. I think we're gonna come back to here because when we shot, when we were photographing here, um, this is a really neat location, but the sun was was literally killing us. So it's gone down a little bit. It's it's gotten a little warmer uh, in terms of the color. So I think we want to try this spot again. Look at it. It looks so good. Okay, so we just walked around the ruins. Um, and my last tip for you, once your model is standing up tall and her core is engaged, um, her shoulders are relaxed and back, her limbs are away from her body, and she's creating interesting angles um, with her body. The last thing that you really, really do not want to miss is the facial expression. And to this, I say, have fun with it. Um, the best thing that you can do is to take multiple photos. Don't just snap one and be done. All right, you ready? Yes. Okay. Are you gonna do the same pose? Yes. One, two, three. That was good. I like it. Highly recommend this place. That was a good spot for taking photos. Here are all the tips I applied during this photo shoot that you can save in screenshots so that you can remember these tips next time you're out photographing. Well, that's all for today's video. Remember to like and subscribe to my channel if you like this video and if you like seeing these behind the scenes looks. As always, follow me on Instagram at philadcophoto for updates as to when I'm coming out with new videos. Um, also, if you go out and use these tips, I'd love to see them. Use the hashtag Phil's photo tips on Instagram so I can easily find them and give you all the love and validation that you deserve. I'm going to give you five tips on how to pose people that are not models. I'm a model. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, right? I'm gonna be hard as knees. Yeah. I look like I'm in pain. Okay. Also, it's hot outside. It's very hot. So oh my so gosh. Sorry. Seriously. So what is Texas? I'm literally, literally. I don't know if you can see this. Sw I'm sweating through my shoes. What the hell? Oh, is that what's happening? Yes. My toes. How? You're in this, by the way. Okay. Oh, gosh. Oh, God, I hope I don't get ants on me. <laughs> gosh, I feel so disheveled. It's so hot. It feels good now, though.